Generic greetings and welcome back to Heat Signature where the music is awesome and the beverage is tasty. <sighs> Today's beverage is tropical juice drink with no added sugar. Unlike a lot of beverages of this type, it doesn't actually just taste of pineapple, which is a win in my book. Anyway, in the previous video of Heat Signature, we set ourselves a task and that was to create a new galaxy, select a character and only do the hardest missions possible. So anything that was hard, extreme, audacious, the most expensive, things like that. And we did four or five of them successfully, so that's a win in my book. But I also had another challenge in mind and I did ask what do people want to see and it sort of correlated. So people said, why? Why don't we do full stealth missions? Missions where we not just don't kill anyone, but missions where we only knock out people where we have to. So sneak around, use glitch tap, uh, traps, teleporters, things like that. And I like that idea, so that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. Same sort of deal, I have created a new galaxy, brand new galaxy with a brand new character. This character here has a short blade and a rechargeable stealth shield. Now that's going to cause me a problem because I really do need, ideally, a wrench. And can I buy a wrench? Um. We might be able to buy a wrench. I can buy a wrench. I'm going to buy a wrench and I'm going to sell straight away the sharp blade because, as I said, the object is to not kill anybody. We're not going to take any missions that, allow, uh, that force us to kill anybody and we're only going to knock out the people that we have to. Now, I don't think it's possible to do a full mission where you just stealth unless you've got a key clone and I don't have one at the moment. So the first couple of missions, assuming we get that far, will be just trying to get a key clone. So let's just crack straight into it. So we'll go into this one. We've got hijack something which does require us knocking stuff out, assassinate someone and rescue. The rescue one is probably going to be the easiest. It has got few guards, no alarm response, guards got wrench and key cards and guns. So that's a good one so we're going to accept -rate that one and then we will head out. And let's see how this one goes. Now, unlike the last challenge, we're, we're not going to do just the hard missions. That's not what this is about. This is doing the stealthest options possible. This character has got a stealth field, so we should be able to do it quite well. Unless the inevitable happens and I mess it up. But hey-ho, it's the journey, not the destination, that we really care about. Speaking of destination, I've overshot it massively. And there we go. So it looks like we're heading towards a glitchy ship. And I will just ooh, give it a bit of a love tap. That's okay. There we go. And we're in. So, um, apparently the... <laughs> Oh my good grief, well, I know that this did, this did say it was going to be an easy mission, um, but as you can see, the person I need to pick up is there, right next to the airlock. There's, it says few guards, it's a bit of an understatement. There's only one person there, there's only the pilot, and he didn't even put them in a cargo hold. So, I guess we'll... <laughs> I guess we'll pick them up and take them to the pod then. Well, that was that done. <laughs> oh, well, I've done some difficult missions in my time, but uh, that wasn't one of them. <laughs> right, I don't think they're all going to be <laughs> that easy, to be honest, but, um, well, I'll take it. I'll, I'll happily accept it, right? So we'll decorate up and then, uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll hand that over so that... <laughs> Let's see what it says. So, ghost, 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 and silent. <laughs> well, what else is it going to be? There was nobody to see me. So, um, yeah. Um, easiest 12 generic units of currency I've ever made in any game ever. Right, let's just check another one. So, we've got assassinate someone, steal a device, rescue someone, and hijack. Um, we'll go for a steal, no alarm response, few guards, and we will accept that. Now, when it says few guards, I hope it means more than none, because there was nothing. There was just the pilot, unless I missed someone. Either way, um, yeah, this is what happens when you do have a system of randomly generating things. When you've got that system in place, it's, um, it's you know, obviously you program it all, you deal with that sort of thing, you, you, you balance and tweak it and whatnot, but at the end of the day, there's still that unknown factor, there's still the black box element where you don't know what it wants to do now and again. Like you can just, God, now and again, just do that sort of thing, but, uh, you know, it's interesting, I guess. So... We're going to pause it and we're going to check around. So as you can see, we have a keycard guy there. We've also got someone looking the other way. Now, keycard uh, level 1 is required to get through this door here. Uh, and then we need to steal that there. And keycard key level 2 is required, which is there. So we're going to have to knock out at most... Oh, sorry, at minimum two people because I don't have a key cloner. So what I'm going to do 
is unpause it and then just hold F and see if this guy wanders off, uh, which he has now wandered off, so that's fine. So what I will do is activate Stealth Shield, uh, Stealth past this guy, although it doesn't look like I needed to do that, but anyway, I've now Stealth out there. That guy's been taken out. I will pick up the body and put him around the corner because there is a terminal there, so that guy might wander in, but the chances of it are quite slim. So we'll then just head this away and obviously go behind him, and then we'll be able to make our way through here. So... That's fine. What I'm now going to do is again wait for this guy to wander off, which he is, and he shouldn't be able to see me, which he did. Ah, that's a shame. What I'm going to do then is activate the stealth field, and then hopefully, even though he's seen me, he will not be able to find me, which I don't think he has. And again, same thing, we're just going to activate the stealth field to then go this away. We'll go straight into here. We will take this device, and then we will go back. Now, the nearest point of escape is probably going around here, and then we will probably bat this open. Ah, that guy saw me, so... No, he still hasn't seen where I am, so can I just bat this open? Uh, I cannot, so the only way to do it is to... What I'm going to do is pause it. I'm going to pick up a wrench. I'm actually going to probably pick up... Um, oh, we can't, oh, we can't pick up that wrench. I'll pick up that wrench, and then I will... Uh, to be honest with you, I will just press T and just uh, fling the wrench out the window, and then there we go. So I will remote control the pod, and then pick my... self up. And job done. The reason I picked up those wrenches is because I'm going to use them uh, as uh, ranged weapons to bounce around the corners and stuff like that. Because you can fling stuff. In fact, it's something that uh, the game does tell you about, I think, in the tutorial. But it's something I often forget. Uh, because it's on like the on the T button. Uh, it's, it's actually on um, T. You press T to fling stuff. And you can fling, I think, almost anything in your hand. In fact, I think, if you, yeah, I think you can actually fling anything in your hand. But um, not everything will... Uh, not everything will will break windows. So, bloodless, obviously, because we didn't kill anyone. Two crew harmed, Enigma silent and unscathed, because apparently there was no witnesses. So there was, yeah, they did see something. The red box moved up, but they didn't fully get a glimpse of me, so it is classed as another stealth thing. That's fine. So let's have a quick look at the special stock. We can see that we've got a glitch trap. We've got a mystery crate, long blade and short blade. None of those I want. I will actually pick up a wrench, and then I will... Can you buy more than one? One wrench? You cannot buy more than one wrench. Okay, so back into the pod. We've got a steel, a prototype, another rescue, and steel something else. Now, they've got a wrench and concussive gun with a heat sensor. This one is a few guards with alarm response time. I'm going to again go for the easy one. We're just going to see if we can get... Uh, I'm just trying to get enough, enough cash monies together in order to get a... A key cloner, but uh, in reality, doing these missions, we're only getting about 12 a piece, so we're never really going to get them enough money to get a key cloner. And the only way to find a key cloner is to go into ships where we can. Oh, good grief, I nearly hit into that one. I nearly hit into a sovereign ship. Um, yeah, the only. Realist realistically, the only way we're going to get a. Uh, a key cloner from ships is if we find it on a fairly big ship. One with crates. Anyway, we're going here. So, it requires a level 1 key card. There's a level 1 key card there. So, well, this guy's wandering around. So, I think I can pick that up for a start. Bit of ammo. And... Do that. Um, just take the body there. Got poor frame rate for some reason, and I don't know why. That guy can go in there, and he'll wake up, realizing that the person who they're supposed to be guarding has gone. Job done, and then we'll head back. Obviously, we can't capture any of the ships. That's not possible at all because we are uh, we're all about the stealth, so we can't knock out the main guy. In fact, in order to take the ship you have to completely clear the ship so we're never going to be doing that not unless I completely mess the mission up or there's well as we've seen earlier uh, one or two guys on the ship so we'll head home and there should be another mission done not bad and then head in cool and we'll drop them off so that's another 12 or another 10 so we're we're not really getting anywhere when it comes to the there's a visitor. That would be quite useful, but it's overpriced. Okay, we're not getting anywhere when it comes to this... Uh, 
when it comes to get this uh, stealth thing. So let's let's try and up the game. So we've got assassinate, no, rescue, no, it's easy. It's going to be either rescue this person or uh, rescue this other person. So this one is alarm response, 42 seconds, lots of guards with a shotgun and heat sensor. This one is many sentry guns, a war zones, fighting hostile territory. I think that's going to be interesting and that should give me some options for stealth. Now you might think, why the hell would you say that? Well, that's because if it's flying through a war zone um, and the ship gets hit, then the guards can be taken out. Uh, I'm not doing it. I'm just, you know, taking advantage of the situation and stealthing around. If a ship gets hit in a certain corner, that might open another section for me to get back into the pod and move around. So there's many things that... Uh, there's many options for us here. So let's just uh, slow the ship down and we want to head over this way. And... Oops! I think I just might, might have just gently tapped that. Bit of a panel. Uh, dent on that one, but uh, we can just go inside. Okay, so straight away inside we can see that we have a level, well we have a crate there, so we definitely want to get into that and the only way for me to unlock it is to get a key card and the nearest key card will be on that guy there, these guys here in fact, so one of those needs to wander, our, uh, wander around our way, so what I'll do is I'll hold F and then one of them will hopefully come my way, which he is, and then actually he's got a crate here and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna pick that up you can see that's actually glowing red that's because hmm I think we got attacked um I guess I will remote control my pod and um, I, I will go and <laughs> pick myself up oh yeah that's that's definitely that's definitely under attack and oh there, there's the thing it's under attack by in fact no, they're firing at each other. Look at that. Um, I've still got a... Oh, I've only got 30 seconds to rescue them. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, what I'll do is I'll stealth into this side and then see what it's like and pause it immediately. And, oh, well, if nothing else, we're going to get this crate, which is a high-capacity slipstream. That's not bad, you know. Let's see if I can do this. So, if I... Actually, is there anything we can pick up? Uh, there's nothing we can pick up. So, I need to rescue that person, and I've got... 23 seconds to do it. We can only dock onto this section here. We will then have to run through here and along. We do need a level 1 key card, so one of these guys is going to have to be knocked down. The turret is a problem, but we can stealth around. We can then run this way. We need a level 2 key card, which is a person there, and then pick that person up and then extract via that window. Is it possible? Yes. Probable? No. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll quickly get back into this. I'll dock onto that one. I will... Ooh, that's problematic. As you can see, the the gun is pointing towards me. Ah, there we go. It's now stopped. I will um, activate the slipstream now. There we go. There's a slipstream activated. I will get the wrench, and I will just stealth in very, very, very quickly. I will then bat that guy out. I will take his card. That guy's then getting taken out, because otherwise I will get shot. Obviously, I am then charging this away, because the gun is going to point this way. So I need to go, oh, stop, I need to stop, I need to activate the slipstream once more, I will then get my wrench back out, I've got 17 seconds, I can then dart in this way, there's a person there which I do need to take out, so I will um, do, oh hang on, uh, cancel the aim, pause it a second, and then immediately go this way, and then take that guy out, and then the stealth field is still on, I will then activate the slipstream once more, 16 seconds remaining, I will activate my stealth shield once more, go through this way, and you can see it did fire, but I've Manage to get around that. I will then charge in there, take that person out. Stealth shield is still on. That person then is knocked out. 15 seconds remaining. Intruder alert. Um, he will see me and my slipstream has ended, so I will activate the slipstream once more. Back to the wrench. I will then pick up the person who I need to. 14 seconds remaining. The other person will see me, but I am slipstreaming, so I am getting a bit of an advantage here. Intruder alert. They, as you can see, I will then... Uh, drop them down. I'll press space. Uh, I've already got a wrench. I will fling the wrench at that window like so and then we will remote control the pod and then pick up the objective. There we go. And we're out. That was tough. That was a very, very, very tough gig. Now, technically, I don't think... I don't think we should applaud that because although I did manage to do it, it was gratuitous use of slipstreaming and I mean, you saw that the actual time was 25 seconds but we got up with 15. It took us 10 seconds to do the entire job because of the uh, the slipstream like time dilation thing. 
but we also knocked out more people the, than we really needed to. So I could have probably done it a little bit, I would, well, we could call it more stealthily, yeah, I mean, I knocked out um, everybody that got in my way, really. Now, I could have used the stealth a bit more, but I knew if I didn't, if I did use that stealth, I would have not used it, I wouldn't have had it for the very last, uh, the very last gun. Also, the, the slipstream, although when they fire, you, the bullets are very, you know, it's like sort of Matrix style where you can see the bullets go slow and you can dodge them. We were so close that it would pretty much be a hit scan system. So, you know what? I'm happy with the performance, which is not entirely uh, what we were after. I'm going to buy another wrench because that's what we're going for. We only have one more use on that slipstream because it isn't a rechargeable one, but we do have three wrenches, so let's just continue going. So... We got Steel, the Roma Mark III, Hijack something, Rescue, and what's that one? Lamb response 33 seconds with a few guards. That's Steel, which is few guards and serious guard kit, which have guns and a glitch dash. That person has a shield. Right, okay, let's challenge ourselves. Let's go for that one and we'll see what we can do. So let's just um, head out. And there we are. Hopefully there'll be a crate that I can pick up, and it might be of use, but uh, let's see how it goes. With me only having one charge... Oh, it's a fairly big ship. With me only having one charge, not entirely sure how this is going to go. So, we've got a guard there with a key card, and it is... It is a... Um... Ah, I don't, I don't think we can do it. No, we don't have the equipment to do it. Because he's got a shield, it reflects all incoming attacks. And sadly, we can't turn it off. We can't destroy the fuel barrel to blow them up and suck them out into space because A, that's against what we're trying to do, and B, I don't have a lethal weapon to do it. Stealthing can only get me around here. This person... Um, what do they have? That's ah right. We might be able to do it. Let's just see what this person has. They've got a gun. Right. Even then, it's not gonna help me. Hmm. I could blow that bit up and see what happens to him. My only option really is to do that. I can't see another way out of it. We can't get through here. So, yeah, what we're going to have to do is... Ah, this guy will... This guy will hear the noise. Ah, and there's someone glitched straight towards me. And... There we go. And, quite honestly... No, nah, not worth it. Bye! I'm gone. I'm gone. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. If we had a key cloner, that would have been possible. We don't have a key cloner. So, that's the main thing. So, sadly, we have failed that mission. So, we'll just head back home. Oh, well, at least we got out there. Obviously, the, uh... No point in getting captured if we know that we're not going to do the mission, so we'll just uh, head back home, and sadly there will be a failed mission there. I'll pop up any second now. There it is. Yeah, failed. Ah, well. So, no one killed. Um, just someone knocked out. At least I don't think that other person, that person we knocked out was killed. Shouldn't have been. I wasn't sucked out or anything, so should be fine. I will go ahead and immediately sell that gun, because we don't want to have anything like that on us. We'll check the special stock. We've got a overpriced self-charging Sidewinder, which is 432 generic units of currency. Quite expensive, that. Um, click anywhere to teleport there as long as there's a clear route. It can be used five times, and it's it's also got um, one, one and a half times normal range, and it is a self-charging. So it recharges itself for free. Yeah, there's a reason why it's expensive. I could get a mystery crate. Yeah, go on, let's get a mystery crate. And we'll say, a quiet armor-piercing rifle. Well, as much as I think that is really good, um, the whole point is that we can't use it, which is a shame because I've never used an armor-piercing thing. I don't believe at all. Uh, this one here is a steel, the Flavian experiment. Heat sensor, sword, guns... A uh, few guards, alarm response time, 71 seconds. Uh, and yeah, that's yeah, that's a good one. And it also pays well. And it's um, another one towards our personal goal. Not that we really care because we're not going to do the personal mission. But hey-ho, let's just see what this is like. But it shows you that you can set yourself challenges. And they are completely attainable. Like, 
the missions, yes, they will be, they will force you to play a certain way at times. You know, there will be ones where you really do have to be violent at times, or ones where you, oh, actually that's not, no, that's not true, not true. What I'm trying to say is that there'll be missions where you really do need a piece of gear, otherwise you just can't proceed. But most of them you can do in multiple ways, and also with uh, multiple pieces of equipment, you don't need a specific one. But anyway, um, we do need a level 1 keycard, so I'm just going to hold F and see if this person wanders. That person is having a wander, but they do not have a keycard. That's the person with the keycard. So I will uh, just hold F until this person wanders around, and then we'll be able to uh, knock them out. And there we are. So they're coming along, and they do have a heat sensor, but I should be able to get past, and they're now taken out. However, they have heard something. Ah, no, that's bad. So they have heard me and they haven't seen me so what I can do is go and I will uh, search for the intel because we need to do that I've only got 64 seconds to steal that thing down there and that's bad what I'm gonna do I am going to I want to get that crate there so I'm gonna activate the slipstream like so I will then just quickly run this away and although this is gonna take uh, some time off me it's also very difficult to move because of the all momentum it's um it's a bit difficult at times to navigate, but anyway, so we'll go into there, we'll pick that up. This is a key cloner, that's exactly what we wanted, then we'll go back over. Obviously we've got, oh, well, we've got a minute to do this, so it shouldn't be too difficult a task. I'm going to go this way, to the right and then down, because there is a person with a key card in here. Now that person's got a level 2 key card, so what we'll do is we'll use the key cloner like so, and then, this is going to be a bit weird, this, I'm going to activate my stealth shield and they will they will detect me see that they are detecting me they are detecting me until i actually go out of the stealth i uh, still until i go out of their um their arc which is an interesting one we'll take that there i will activate my stealth field once again i can actually use that to get a level three uh a key a level three key but i don't really want to what i want to do instead is that because for some reason that tends to be our way of getting out places i don't know if we were bought brought up as a there's a glazier or something, and you know, trying to drum up business. Yeah, every time you leave a room, just just jump out the window instead of using the door, you know, and then uh, then uh, mum and dad can make some money. <laughs> anyway, head home, and that should be us, I think. And oh, look at that, threading the needle straight in, and then we'll drop that off. So it wasn't too difficult, actually. Again, it's only because we did get some uh, decent stock there. Uh, we have now run out, sadly, of the. Uh, We've run out of the... Is that the same rifle? Silence down piercing rifle. Is that the same one? It can't have been. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, we've run out of the slipstream and we've only got uh, two uses of the key cloner. Let's buy another mystery crate and we've got a rechargeable high capacity slipstream. Okay, that's changed things. That That's actually very good for us. Uh, we've got hijack, rescue, hijack and capture. So we'll go for a rescue. A few guards and all arm. I'll accept that. And then go this way. So, with a key cloner, that will be, it'll be a much easier task. However, it's not a rechargeable one. So, it's only got two uses and then it's gone. We ideally need a... Ideally, we do need a... A rechargeable one. But we do have still the rechargeable stealth shield and the rechargeable... Um, the rechargeable stealth shield and the rechargeable... Um, slipstream. So, let's have a quick look. Level 1 keycard. Keycards. Ah, this should be easy. So, we're just going to go around this way. We don't want to... We want to avoid all these people if possible. So, I will um, get myself the key. This guy's going to use that console, so I'll be able to sneak right past him. This guy, I could sneak past but quite honestly I'm gonna pick him I'm gonna knock him out pick him up save that key cloner and then we'll pick this up which is a rechargeable oh a rechargeable extreme range swapper that is very very useful indeed so what I'm gonna do is mm, this is a problem I need to get past this guy and I ideally I could, I could swap with him but if if I do that he's then locked in this room oh he's not locked in but he, he'll be in here actually no, he'll be just in this room, but he'll see that body and then he'll, he'll alert the guards. But um, he's wandering off now, so we can just like wander past, you see. And uh, straight past, that guy has seen someone. Doesn't know where they are. Just have a quick look around. And is there another crate anywhere? There is not a crate anywhere, so quite frankly, I think the simple task, as always, is to uh, 
just to uh, do that. And remote control the pod. Fly that round. Obviously the uh, person takes priority because they've got less oxygen. They haven't got the lung capacity or actually probably haven't got a space suit on. And there's another mission done. So yes, it is, I can confirm, ooh, close. Uh, nearly hit that ship. It is extremely, it, perfectly possible to go around and do stealth. Um, obviously you need the right equipment, but then you could say that about any part of this game. And uh, we overshot it. Ah, there we go. And there we go. Spin you around. And because it latches in, you see. And then we'll drop them off. And there's a liberation, I think. Yeah, one liberation available. And what could we liberate? We could liberate... Concussive grenade launcher, no. Off-world security, no. Off-world, off-world. Um, so we're really looking forward to... There you go, medium capacity key, key cloner is ideal. That's rechargeable crash beam. That would be very useful. Uh, glitches take, uh, visitor teleporters. Unlocks the breach grenade launcher. That sounds a bit naughty, doesn't it? Long range key cloners. So it's going to have to be this way, isn't it, really? And then we'll unlock that. There you go. And we've now got bloodless missions, which we've been doing this entire time. But yeah, there you go. That is... A little bit of heat signature once again, uh, the stealth edition. Um, if you have any suggestions for ways in which we can approach this, we've done the. I mean, we've done the entire series. Uh, we've also done the last challenge, which was to take the most extreme and all the hard missions that we could, which we successfully have done. And now we've done the stealth one, so that's fine. What else? Do you, would you like to see? If anything, just let me know in the comments. We'll go from there. Any excuse for me to play this game is uh, really okay with me. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Barman, one beverage please. <laughs>